Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossi. Today we're going to see how our colors mix together when drawing balloons. Let's get started. Today you will be needing a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, something to trace your drawing with. I'm going to use a Sharpie. You can use a dark colored crayon or a colored pencil or a pen or another kind of marker and something to color your picture with. Today I'm going to use markers, but you can use any art supply that you have at home. What we are going to be doing today is drawing a picture that shows how our colors mix together. So I'm going to draw a bunch of different balloons on my paper, and they are going to overlap. And where they overlap, we're going to change the colors up a bit. So I'm going to start by drawing a few different balloons on my paper. A balloon is a nice big oval shape. I like to make my balloons bigger at the top and a little bit smaller at the bottom. Balloons have a little knot at the end where you tie them. So I draw that by doing two straight lines going out and then a wavy line to connect them. So I'm going to draw a bunch of different balloons on my paper. And as I'm drawing my balloons, I want them to overlap. And by that, I mean I want them to go over the top of each other. So this balloon went into my first balloon. And I'm going to keep doing that until I have a bunch of balloons on my paper. Now that I have all my balloons drawn on my paper, I'm going to do six today. I can make some strings coming down from my little knots that I drew. Now our balloons today are going to be kind of see-through. So we can overlap our strings right on top of our balloons and that is okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to trace over all of my pencil lines. After I finished tracing all of my balloons, I used my eraser to erase any pencil lines that I still had on my paper. And now I can start to color. So I'm going to use markers to color today, but you can use whatever you have at home. I'm going to take my red, my yellow, and my blue marker today to start. Now each one of my balloons is going to be a primary color. I made six balloons, so I can use my colors more than once, that is okay. But when I'm coloring in my balloon and the areas they overlap, those areas where they overlap, those colors are going to change. So if I color in my first balloon up here red, and I fill in this whole space, going nice and slowly with my marker, I'm going to go around that area where my balloons overlap. So I'm going to follow that edge of my Sharpie line and go around it. So my balloons are going to be almost see-through. So I want to leave that space white for now. I'm going to color in the little knot part. And there's my red balloon. I'm going to take my yellow marker and I'm going to call this balloon yellow. When I color in this balloon, I'm going to do the same thing where I am going to go around that area where they overlap. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm just going around those spaces and filling in the rest of my balloon. Now I can look at this space. So if a red balloon and a yellow balloon are overlapping and they're kind of see-through, they are going to make the color that red and yellow make when they mix together, which is orange. So my two primary colors of red and yellow are going to mix together to make orange. So now maybe this balloon, I will color in blue. So when coloring in this balloon, I'm going to go around those spots where my shapes overlap. And I'm going to think about what color I'll get if I mix blue and yellow, because that's the color I'm going to get for that space. 
So now if my yellow and my blue balloon are overlapping, they're going to mix together and the color I'm going to get is green because yellow and blue make green. And now maybe down here, this could be a red balloon. So I'm going to use my primary color of red. I'm going to color around that area where my balloons are overlapping. I'm going to color around that area and fill in the rest of my balloon space. And now I can think, what color am I going to get if I mix blue and red to fill in that space? I'm going to get purple. So I'm going to take my purple marker and I'm going to color in this area. So all of my balloons are primary colors, but anywhere where my balloons overlap and those colors mix together, they turn into our secondary colors of orange, green, and purple. So I'm going to do the same thing for my last two balloons. So maybe I will make this balloon blue and my last balloon yellow. So again, I'm going around that area where they're overlapping and filling in the rest of my balloon with my color. And then I'm going to think about again, what color am I going to get when I mix my blue and my red? I just did that one up here, so I know that that one is going to be purple. So if you make a bunch of balloons, you're going to get a bunch of the same colors repeating, and that is okay. And my last balloon, I will make yellow. So I'm filling in this space with my yellow marker, going around that area where my balloons overlap, and I am thinking about what color I'm going to get if I mix blue and yellow, and I'm going to get green. So I'm going to fill in that space with green. And there are my color mixing balloons all finished. You can color in the background if you would like. I'm going to leave mine white today, but you can color it whatever color you would like. So when you are finished, you're going to get an awesome looking picture like this that shows your primary colored balloons mixing together to make your secondary colors. Once you're finished with your picture, save it for when we go back to school, or if you would like to share it with me, you can do that through email or Google Docs. I'd love to see the work that you're creating at home. I hope to see you soon. Try your best, have fun, and get creative. Bye.